Yo guys, what is up? How are you guys doing today? So I have another unturned update for you guys. Now it's 3.14.5.0 and in this update there was a lot of stuff added, a lot of additions, improvement, tweaks, and fixes. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. The first thing we're going to start off with is the civilian armor vest, which uh, right now you guys can already see that I'm wearing the Spec Ops uh, clothing. But yeah, so here's the uh, civilian armor vest right here. We're just going to put this on. It's like, uh, you know, like any other vest, but yeah, it's just the civilian version of it, I'm guessing. And then um, we have over here the makeshift armor. So uh, this makeshift armor is basically you craft it yourself and it, you know, has some little metal plating on it. And then, you know, just looks like it has a regular vest under it. But yeah, there's that. Also, um, like I said, this is the Spec Ops outfit. We'll go ahead and put on the full outfit right here. Here's the vest. Uh, the Spec Ops outfit fully comes with a backpack, a vest, uh, and then, you know, a shirt and pants. And yeah, that's the uh, that's the Spec Ops vest. Here we'll go ahead and uh, give a full view of it all around. See if it's a little bit easier to see when you know it's nice and uh, sunny out. So yeah, that's the uh, Spec Ops vest. I don't really know what that means on the side, but yep, there's that. I also got my little snorkel right there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get on with the next thing, which that is the scythe. This is uh, I'm going by everything on the list right now in order. So this is the scythe. We'll go ahead and. Uh, switch my position right over here and uh, you know it's basically the same movement if you right click and then left click they're both the exact same movements but one of them uses energy and one of them doesn't so yeah there's that also there's a new thing with the map now so if you press M it shows the map it actually looks a lot different and that's because I have a uh, chart in a GPS so basically without the chart you will not have a map so if i go ahead and uh, go in here and i remove the chart like i just drop it completely and then i go back in here it says no chart found and then i will have no map and you know i can't locate anybody or locate any of the towns i just have to you know just walk there myself without even you know like know where i'm going unless you guys know the layout of the land on the maps then you guys are a uh, you guys are good on that end but yep yeah, that's what the new chart is for so you need a chart to basically look at the map and then we have our GPS right over here. So, uh, yeah, the satellite view of the surrounding area. So if I'm correct, if I, uh, if I drop this, I wonder if it changes anything in the map. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it really changes anything. So I don't really think you need a GPS that much. But uh, unless it changes, does it take off the names? I haven't checked this out. Okay take off the name. No, but it doesn't take off the name. Alright, so I don't really know what the GPS does, but uh, like it said, it uh, basically you know, puts out a satellite view of the surrounding area which I don't really know how that's going to help me since I, you know, have the chart. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on to the next thing and that is the diving gear. So we have the diving gear right here. We'll go ahead and uh, put on these wetsuits. Go ahead and put on the shirt. We'll go ahead and put on the pants as well. And uh, here we have our oxygen tank right here. We already have our snorkel on, but uh, we have our oxygen tank. And basically what this acts as is it acts as a backpack, basically. So once I put this on, it should probably drop some stuff out of my inventory. Yep, dropped a lot of stuff. But um, now whenever I go underwater, I should be able to breathe. Um, my oxygen goes down a lot slower. So, yeah, that's, that's a good thing about it. Um, but I am unsure whether it has, like, a... We'll go ahead and take this off, see how fast. Yep, it goes a lot faster down without it on. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back up here. Go ahead and put this backpack back on. And we'll go ahead and grab the rest of our stuff. So that is the oxygen tank. You know, you can breathe underwater for a much longer time. But, you know, it, it'll still run out pretty fast. So, yep, there's the oxygen tank. Um, and also the diving gear, of course, which is the uh, wetsuits. And yeah, so now we have our other things which are duffel bags. So with these duffel bags, they uh, basically act as backpacks as well. You put them on your back and you know, they're medium sized duffel bags. So yeah, they have like a medium sized little inventory right here that fits everything in there. But you know, it's it acts as like everything else. So it'll fit it all in at the same time. So that is one great thing about it. Now, um, the next thing that we have also is the added burst fire mode enabled on Eagle Fire. So I'll be right back once I get the Eagle Fire. Alrighty, guys, I am back and I have the Eagle Fire right here in my hands. And basically, to change the uh, types of bursts from like, you know, semi automatic to safety, and uh, now there's the new burst. So all you have to do is press V for that or whatever button you have located for that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start shooting this. And it should be a three round burst. Yep round burst right there each time and uh 
has quite a recoil, but you know, overall great. If you guys want to use a burst, you guys can go ahead and do that, but you know, I, I, I just prefer regular semi out of uh, anything else. So, yep, that is that for that. Also, there is now bullet trails when shooting without muzzle brake. Added map info f to the selection screen. So, we'll go ahead and get to that soon. But first, uh, we have to do another thing, which is added ability to use items while swimming. So, we should have a piece of pizza somewhere. Do we not have pizza anywhere? Okay, you know, I had a piece of pizza. I'll just give myself a med kit. Whoops. Give thorny slash 15 slash 1. Alright, so we have our new med kit right here. And uh, we'll go ahead and go in the water. And this will give us the ability to use the med kit while we're underwater. So if you're running away from someone, uh, this is really going to help. Because, you know, you can put on the med kit at the same time. And, you know, you guys can use any other type of gear. Like putting a backpack on, you know, equipping a weapon. And, you know, etc, etc. So, yep, that helps out a lot. Also, there is now um, added workshop error tools to help identify simple bugs in custom content. And also, there's added bundle tool to sources slash tools folder. So, uh, now that we got done with that, we can go ahead and, you know, exit this game right here. And we can go ahead and go to the main menu to where it shows the map info. So, for it to show the map info, all you have to do is press play. And then uh, go into single player and it will show, like, have this, like, new little menu set up. Or layout and uh, uh, now it shows a little description right next to each of the maps now for custom maps it may not show the description because the uh, developers of those maps have not set the description but um, if they ever do if any of the map developers ever do update their maps they should probably have a description right here but um, I don't think I have any maps that currently have a description at all other than the official maps that have been added into the game but yeah there's that so now we'll go ahead and go over our improvements, tweaks, and fixes. Now we're going to go over this pretty fast, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, also, if you guys want to go ahead and review these update notes for yourself, the link will be in the description. Also, uh, to find the update notes yourself, uh, just go into your Steam library, uh, click on the game, and then on the right-hand corner, it should have like a little menu that shows the uh, store page, and then it should say news. You want to go ahead and click on the news, and then that's where it will show all the update notes for this game. Also, you can probably check all the update notes for every other game, too, if that, if you guys want to. But, yeah, let's go and get on with the improvements. Now, for the improvements, there is improved stars blending from midnight to dawn, basically like a fading effect to make it look more clean. Also, there's improved attachments to show arrow quality, improved character UV layout, suicide and drowning deaths to not get new spawn point, and improved refilling canteen's ease. Now for the tweaks, there is tweaks PEI arena spawn locations, Washington spacecraft crash to have dead zone, last suppressor shot to stay suppressed, player list to show skill set, uh, created arena maps to show in a single player list, sand color a bit darker, firefighter slash police skill sets, and tweaked exercise diving skills. <coughs> also for the fixes, there is fixed buildable save corruption issue restored files, Fixed keeping empty nail gun magazines, crafting nail gun magazines together, map zooming past the first level. Um, also, there is fixed campfire audio, poor looping, duplicate item drops in single player, and fixed arena maps in single player. Also, there is fixed keeping arrow when shot misses, impact particle smoothness, fixed losing all XP in horde mode, and uh, fixed some texture unloading issues. Duplicate nail gun blueprint, uh, impact bubble shader, and border difference in satellite map have also been fixed. Also, at the end of the update notes, there is also a little tip for level creators. You can now customize the colors used for your road map by overriding the charts file with either your own bundle or one copy from other default maps. Um, if you have created some custom workshop content, please check out the new log tool. On the main menu, it will let you know if there are any potential issues slash misconfigured items. So yeah, guys, that is about it for this update. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. That I'm at an all time. <laughs>